Welcome to this evening's Nights of Wonder, a time of psalms, poetry, and prayer. During this Advent season, this is a moment to pause, to catch a breath, to be still in the presence of God. In this second week of Advent, we are continuing our series about those who dream. And tonight, we dream about peace. John the Baptist said, prepare the way. So family of faith, how do we prepare our minds for worship? We silence the inner critic. We let go of busy thoughts. We make space for God to speak. How do we prepare our hearts for worship? We bless all emotions. We feel what we feel. We open ourselves up to be moved. How do we prepare our bodies for worship? We take in the scent, sight, and the feel of the space we find ourselves in. We breathe in God's mercy. We exhale God's love. How do we prepare our souls for worship? We bring our full selves into this space. We wear our hearts on our sleeves. We trust that even now, God is here. family of faith, what we practice in worship, we must live out in our daily lives. So prepare the way. Let us worship God. Tonight our psalm is Psalm 85 verses 1 and 2 and 8 to 13. Join me in the reading of the psalm. Lord, you are favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people. You pardoned all their sin. Selah. Let me hear what the Lord God, the Lord, will speak, for he will speak peace to his people, to his faithful, to those who turn to him in their hearts. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky. The Lord will give what is good and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. Peace is an every moment decision. When the kids are driving us crazy, when the person in the car in front of us cuts us off, when the words of someone else hurts us at our core, these are moments of decision. Peace or no peace. Now peace doesn't mean passivity. It doesn't mean allowing people to get away with hurting you or others. It doesn't mean just taking it. It means choosing to stop a cycle of violence or not letting one begin. It means standing up for yourself and others in a way that honors the presence of God within yourself and within the other. It means not becoming that which is hurting you. It even means confronting that which hurts others, even if it is not you that is being hurt. But choosing peace isn't easy. In fact, it is much more difficult than lashing out on instinct. It requires moment-by-moment -moment choices. Choices on the language we use, even when no one is listening. Choices on the actions we take, even when no one is watching. Choices on the forgiveness we offer, even if it is to ourselves. When we choose the path of peace, we are paving the way for the glory of God, for peace is a portion of the path of righteousness. And the path of righteousness prepares the way for the glory of God. So let us dream of being trailblazers of peace so that we can live in a world where steadfast love and faithfulness will meet, where righteousness and peace will kiss each other.
where faithfulness will spring up from the ground and righteousness will look down from the sky, where the kingdom of God is at hand. Let us pray. God of peace, we must admit there are a million things on our minds. We would like to be as focused as John the Baptist, preparing the way, gathering the crowd, spreading the word of your arrival. Maybe then we'd know peace. However, more often than not, we are a swirling compilation of grocery lists, text messages, emails, and over-referenced to-do lists. So today, we ask for your help in preparing the way. Could you start with our ears and then maybe move to our hearts? We'd like to hear you more clearly. Maybe then we'll know peace. Gratefully, we pray. Amen. On this evening, I pray that you dream of peace so you can find peace. I pray that you find peace so you can know peace. I pray that you know peace so you can be peace. A peaceful presence preparing the way 